we start our demo at the same place and one of our users start their day here inside Microsoft Teams. In this case, we're looking at our daily production report and Power BI dashboard inside Microsoft Teams. And in this case, that report has a Power App inside it to look at service records. Now, our manufacturing rejects have been going up. So let's narrow that down to our biggest location. Take a look at Beijing, maybe look inside the machine information itself. But none of the service order information is coming through yet because that requires talking to an internal API to get that preferred vendor data. So let's add that in. We've already got our Power BI report loaded inside here. We'll just click on Edit and click on the three dots and edit the Power App itself. Now, as that loads, we need to get our connector set up. So we talk to our pro developer friends, ask, us, ask them to send us the information for the API. They do what they always do. They send the information right out of API management. They will click on the three dots here and say export. This is going to be cross-tenant, so we don't use the automatic connector creation. We'll just export to the open API file. Click on that. We get the file downloaded, and we send that along with an API key to our maker, who can then create a custom connector. And we'll import that API file. We'll just call this demo and select that swagger file and click continue that brings the host information in it brings the security information in, in this case api key the definition of all the key apis now i've already cleaned this up given our operation ids some more maker friendly names but otherwise haven't changed a thing and i saved it inside our environment so now inside our app everything looks like it's loaded we can add that connector so we'll come to our data tab and we will search for our connector We'll find it, we'll click on it to add it in. We can add a connection or just use a connection that we already have in here that we might, might have used for testing and we'll add that in as well. So now everything looks good. Now if we go into our further screen, you can see that data starting to come through. We get all the service requests for this information and maybe we can add one more. We'll talk to the good folks at Supplyery and create a service order, have that come out and take a look at the machine today. That looks good. All we need to do is save it. And last but not least, publish it so that everybody gets the very latest information. And now if we come back to Microsoft Teams. Maybe we look at the service order, order channel where we see something from the Power App posted to let people know that service order been, has been requested. We're going to talk to Safari. But back inside our Power BI report, we can load up the report, load up the latest version of the Power App, and everything is good to go.